Mr. Wonka? I am extraordinarily busy, sir. Uh, I just wanted to ask about the chocolate. Uh, the lifetime supply of chocolate for Charlie. Well, when does he get it? He doesn't. He... Why not? Because he broke the rules. What rules? We didn't see any rules, did we, Charlie? Wrong, sir. Wrong. Under Section 37B of the contract signed by him, it states quite clearly that all offers shall become null and void if, and you can read it for yourself in this photostatic copy, I, the undersigned, shall forfeit all rights, privileges, and licenses herein and herein contained, etc., etc., fax mentis incendium gloria culpum, etc., etc., memo bis punitor delicatum. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You stole fizzy lifting drinks. You bumped into the ceiling, which now has to be washed and sterilized, so you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're a crook. You're a cheat and a swindler. That's what you are. How can you do a thing like this? Build up a little boy's hopes and then smash all his dreams to pieces. You're an inhuman monster! I said good day! Come on, Charlie. Let's get out of here. I'll get even with him if it's the last thing I ever do. Slugworth wants a gobstopper. He'll get one. Mr. Wonka? So shines a good deed in a weary world. Charlie! My boy. You won! You did it! You did it! I knew you would! I just knew you would! Oh, Charlie. Forgive me for putting you through this. Please, forgive me. Come in, Mr. Wilkinson. Charlie, meet Mr. Wilkinson. Pleasure. Slugworth. No, no, that's not Slugworth. He works for me. For you? I had to test you, Charlie. And you passed the test. You won! You did it, Mr. Wonka. Congratulations. Get up. Take a look. Grandpa, our town looks so pretty from up here. Yeah, look over here, Charlie. I think I see our house. Wow. It really looks beautiful. There's my school, Grandpa. How did you like the chocolate factory, Charlie? I think it's the most wonderful place in the whole world. I'm very pleased to hear you say that, because I'm giving it to you. That's all right, isn't it? You're giving Charlie the... I can't go on forever, and I don't really want to try. So, who can I trust to run the factory when I leave and take care of the Oompa Loompas for me? Not a grown-up. A grown-up would want to do everything his own way, not mine. That's why I decided a long time ago that I had to find a child. A very honest, loving child to whom I can tell all my most precious candy-making secrets. And that's why you sent out the golden tickets. That's right. So the factory's yours, Charlie. You can move in immediately. And me? Absolutely. What happens to the, the rest of the whole family? I want you to bring them all. But Charlie, don't forget what happened to the man who suddenly got everything he always wanted. What happened? He lived happily ever after. <laughs>